In the previous video I demonstrated how to spawn NPCs. Now I'll be showing how to control their movement and positioning. Because we don't want to spawn enemies right in front of the player, we spawn them around a corner and tell them where to go after they've spawned. Create a new entity near your NPC and set its class to AI Scripted Schedule. Give it a name and set the target NPC field to the name of your NPC. Create a new entity where you want your NPC to go to after spawning and set its class to Path Corner. Give the Path Corner a name and then return to the AI Scripted Schedule. Scroll down to Goal Name and set it to the name of the Path Corner. By default the NPC will walk to the target. This can be changed with the Schedule to Run drop down menu. Run to Goal Entity will make the NPC run to the target. Enemy NPCs will stop following their schedule if they see the player. This can be changed with the Interruptibility drop down menu. Here I've selected the Damage or Death option. This means the NPC will only get distracted when they get hurt. The schedule can also control what state the NPC is in, so we can make the NPC go into combat mode by going to the AI State to Set drop down and selecting Combat. The schedule will still need to be activated, so go to the point template that spawns the NPC and go to its outputs. Add a new output, On Entity Spawned, the name of your AI scripted schedule, Start Schedule. Now when the NPC spawns, they'll run to the path corner we specified. Next, create some cover for the NPC to use. For the NPC to recognise this as cover, go to the block tool and create a new mesh around the piece of cover. Press Ctrl T to make it an entity, then Alt Enter to open its properties and change its class to AI Markup HLVR. Go down to AI Properties and check Cover Strong. You may also want to change this mesh's material to the Nav Attributes tool texture, just to make it clearer in the editor. With Combine Suppressors, you need to create sentry positions for them to hold. To do this, create a new entity and change its class to Info Target, then give it a name. You can have multiple of these with the same name, and the Suppressor NPC will switch between their positions. Go to the Suppressor NPC and set Sentry Position Name to the name of the Info Target. Other Combine types can use Sentry Positions as well if their tactical variant is set to Defensive. And now you know how to command your Combine Soldiers.